Here we are in Langoflin. And crikey. Isn't it nice? Wow. Our big cars, aren't they? Yeah. New Zealand, is it? NZ L, I'm not sure. Valiant. It's a cool looking thing, isn't it? Horseshoe Pass, Horseshoe Pass, four miles, Rithin, 16 miles. The Royal Hotel with the River Dee below. I just love the lights here, the glow on the lights. They haven't changed them yet to those god awful LED things there. Like that one there. The glow on these lights is absolutely beautiful. They've still got a taxidermy studio here. I remember coming here in probably late 70s, early 80s, and there was taxidermy stuff then. Got the Bridge Hotel, Bridge End Hotel, even. There's the bridge over the D. Nineteen twenty seven, that Bridge End Hotel was built. got a little plaque at the top and then there's a little record shop now geeks and gifts see a rolling stones tongue This is the Langhoffman Steam Railway Station. It's uh, closed at the moment, unfortunately. And uh, I think they're in a crisis at the moment because of lack of money due to the COVID pandemic. They've not been making much money so I don't know how much um, how much longer they'll be able to stay afloat for but I'm sure someone will step in I've not seen one of them before it's a digital sign and I'm assuming it's because the horseshoe pass is quite often closed due to snow so it'll say pass closed or something rather than put in the little signpost up that they normally stick up the horseshoe pass is like a big winding road that leads down into Langhoffman
quirky little shop. Bubble tea. Is it sad that I don't know what that is? Do you know what bubble tea is? I've never heard of it. I'm going to have a quick nose in the window. What is bubble tea? Oh, here we go. Fat straw, juice balls, very popular topping, or tapioca, sweet chewy pearl served at the bottom of the glass. So that's bubble tea, is it? Some kind of manga dollies with hardly any clothes on. Goku Pop, Japanese Kit Kat. That's what uh, collectibles are. Oh. Arbor collector. What's that? What's this? Um, pop uh, figures. Oh, okay. A little chick or something down there. E.T. the extraterrestrial. <laughs> and this side, it's got. Who? This side's got uh, t-shirts. Tell you what this side's got as well. A curve that you can break your neck on like I nearly did just then, so watch out if you come close. <laughs> Gonna have a walk down into town? Amory? Oh. Do you want to go back to the car or? for a sec. I don't know why but there is a set of musical notes on the floor there and there's bound to be a reason for them to be there but I don't know what it is. There's a steam steam railway. Langothlands I'm assuming that used to be the old Langothlan station when it was steam rail before they shut the line or whatever because it only goes so far that way I think river's got a lot of force in it tonight Another musical note brass plaque on the floor there. There we go. This is where you usually see the uh, what do you call them? The canoes. They come down the river there. a bar there called Room 29, D, D Side Cafe Bistro, sells scones, tea cakes, sandwiches, baguettes etc. for a quick walk into town. Best time to come to Langothan there, it's nice and peaceful. <laughs> shop Fach, isn't that a little shop? There you go. Read that. 
y siop fach gardiau wraf <laughs> bont drosi rafon drosi yr afon is it? Dyd fwrd rin yn llangollen Something about a big shop uh, by the bridge, is it? Up over the river? Something like that. My Welsh is terrible these days. I've not done it for about 30 years. Awful, really, because I am Welsh. Cottage cards and crafts. Get yourself a tea towel and what have you in there. Cottage tea rooms. I think we. I think we have been there before now for something to eat, but it was before the pandemic, you know. Welsh Barabreath with butter, £2.50, bargain. Barabreath. Can't beat it. Cenotaph across the way. A few more cafes. Barclays Bank, that's a rare sight these days. Most of them are shut down by us. Fudge factory since 2003. I wonder what it was before. I can't remember. I thought the bank used to be here on the right, but maybe I'm wrong. Shows a car park just down there, if I remember right. Castle Street, Castle Courtyard. Corte Castell. Llangollen Oggy and Fine Foods. And the clock. Local Welsh ice cream. Oggy Oggy Oggy. Oi oi oi. Pies and pastries, sausage rolls. So those are nice stuff in there. Those are stuff I can't have. <laughs> a kebabby at the top. Kutch. That's like having a hug. Have a kutch. Bit of a cuddle. Social distancing. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> It's a museum or something, this isn't it? What's it say at the top there? I can't read. It says Beth. Beth with. What's that? Beth. Beth of the weird. Beth of the weird. I don't know what that means. Someone will be able to tell me, no doubt. Honey pots, pottery, painting. Meat shop. Gerards and Bakers. There's honey pots. It's a bit dark in there to see. Little animals, toys, and what have you. Castle Burgers, flying off them. News agents, it's a pub here. The Bull Inn. There's the Bull himself, look. There he is. That'll be open soon. Pubs are coming back open soon. Oak Street. What's this one? I don't know what this one is. Market Street. Ah, that could be the car park I'm thinking of, perhaps. Fish and chips, Edinburgh Woolen Mill, music playing in there. Isn't there? There's a spa, 
and now we're late for the spa. Chat wins. It's a chain place, isn't it? Edinburgh Woolen Mill, another chain place. Christmas trees are still up, look. They haven't mm. took them down. Nice. See the Christmas trees up on the on the shops. Probably haven't bothered because trying to keep everyone cheerful. <laughs> Should have them lit up though. They must be plastic ones, wasn't they? Be dead by now otherwise. Houses for sale. Let's have a look. Say you wanted that one, 329 grand. It's not bad, is it? <laughs> Bridge Street, 475 grand. Oh, not bad, there's one there for half a million quid. Cheaper half the price. Vintage Antiques and Book Emporium. In all seriousness, no, it, it is a nice place. To be fair, it is alright, Langhoffman. Very pleasant if you just want to come out for a, a day or whatever. Or oh, indeed, stop over in the hotel and go for a couple of walks. It's a pretty place. What's that, love? Yeah, they're doing an office park, What is it? Oh, is that the place you were talking about? Uh-huh. Petrol station. Petrol station? <laughs> Closed? Oh, I'd die from here then. Yeah. Fast now up there. That's the old maid's house, I think. Heading back down here. Yeah? Back the other way now. Yeah, if you go up the left turn there and then go right, you end up at the old mate's house. You have to go for a bit of a walk or a drive or whatever to get up there, but it's not, it's not far. And it's uh, very pretty. There used to be more of it, but um, they sold some of it off years ago. I think I think it got sold to Americans or something. There was some, some weird little story behind it anyway. There's a hair there, you can tell him a mile off, can't you? See him. And a dragon. Don't think you'll see him, it's a bit too dark. I'll try and zoom in a bit. Nah. Nice, some of these houses. Window lot three, it'll be alright. That's nice, I like that one. Lights flickering like hell. 125 to 150 grand auction price guide value. You could do a lot with that. Pretty. Yeah. Oh yeah, but for that amount, for that amount of money though, you could spend a hundred grand and you'd be all right. Oh, we need a bathroom, you only need a tin bath, a kettle. <laughs> Some of these old buildings. Oh, it's quite a fall, isn't it? 
Yeah, get okay, going back now. Going back yeah. on slow though, yeah, we should be home for two, foot or two, or well, yeah. well, I could be a bit late, but I don't mind. It's only a bit of a one It's music, isn't it? Can you hear it? Yeah. It's not playing it. Yeah. Right? Must have left the wireless on. Market Street, so you can go for your canal boat rides down there. WC, yeah, the toilet's there. Right. Yeah. It is, yeah. Sort of, yeah. Car park and toilet. I thought it was the last street, but I'm wrong. It's here, the car park. D Pizza. Back to our make the bull in. like a nice little place when it's open. The Bull Inn. That says enlarged 1904. I don't know what that sign means there in the middle. See there? I'm not sure. There's some local historian I'll know. I love that window there. I know I'm sad, aren't I? Lovely place though. Little ginnels going off all over the place. Alleyways. Here again. Is that like a town hall or something? It's got a great big door. I don't know what it is. If you park your motorbike here, a notice will be attached to it with gaffer tape. Perhaps that's where people used to park their motorbikes or something. It was cheesing people off. I don't know, it sounded like a, a computer or something, or alarm or something. I'm not sure. Maybe I got too close to the door and it got angry. There we are, Cooch again. Cooch on the floor by the door there. There's a couple of these little uh, rocks knocking round with cute, cute things written on it. Van Gogh and Oggy shop and fine foods. Oggy's like a big pie, pasty sort of thing. And I quite fancy one right now, but it's tough because I'm on a diet and I can't have one. <laughs> I said it's tough, I can't have one because I'm on a diet. Elizabeth Royal. I bet there was a few old Victorian ones here. Once upon a time, probably been pulled up. Yeah, I'm not sure what's at the end of there. Then I thought it was the car park, but I'm not sure. Parade Street. Langothan Museum is down there, apparently. Here we have the Royal again. There's a coffee shop over there at the end. I wonder if that's like an old traditional coffee shop, not like your Starbucks, more of a hipster place. Before hipsters existed. Back to the tea rooms again, don't forget you can get your barabreath with butter, £2.50. Welsh cakes with butter, £2.50. You can get a Welsh cottage tea, what's that? Or a Welsh cream tea. Homemade fruit or plate scone with butter, jam, clotted cream, and a pot of Welsh brew tea for four ninety five. It's quite a bargain in that place. It's not dear at all. Scottish and Welsh flags up the top there. So some dual nationality stuff going on. Weather vane now. The dragon on. I love the way the building is. I think it's cool. That smart. <laughs> There's your weather vane. Let's see if it'll zoom in a bit. It's good, isn't it? 
Mr. Dragon. Back to Jadthach. Have to tell us what that means up the top there. Oh, here we go. To the pavilion. Welcome to Langothen. More grub across the way there. There is a cat. He hangs around by that coffee shop there. They coffee shop by that place that's doing the cream teas. Because we've been here before, ages ago. And this cat started following us down the river when we went for a walk. And then we were told, oh, he's famous, him. He follows everyone in Langothlin. If he's still going, you might bump into him yourself. Probably in bed at the moment. I wouldn't fancy falling in there. Back onto the bridge. Still think this lighting's gorgeous. I like this lighting because it's very calming. So if you have this kind of street lighting outside your window at night, it's easy to sleep. Unfortunately, I've got one of those bloody things. And a little look at Langoffland Street. Always where. No. Bridge end. little geeks and gift shop and and the railway hopefully it'll stay open that gym yeah yeah no i think it's a good plan give them a bit of support in it i yeah no, we'll have to come and go on as well. Uh, cross over here, I suppose. And what I miss about those lighters, I used to have them outside my window. So it used to be very peaceful and nice. Easy to go to sleep and blinding light in your eyes. You have to get the blackout curtains out now. 1927. I'm surprised that's not older, to be honest. I thought that would be an older building. Last time I came here, there was a Rolls Royce parked outside of that. An old 1970s Corniche type thing. Well, we'll come back when everywhere's open properly. Yeah, we have. Uh, the ghost of Minera. That hill up there goes up to Minera Mountain. Is he? Is the car? 
I think it's New Zealand. It's got NZL on it, so it's a Valiant. It's a lovely car, though, isn't it? Real groovy. It certainly is. Yeah, I'd say it's probably about 1966, seven. Guess. It's cool, anyway. Hemi. Fluffy dice and a great big aerial. Yeah, I probably would say probably about yeah, about late sixties, early seventies. Cool, time. isn't it? Sixty-eight, sixty-seven. Quite wide, aren't they, the cars? Aren't they? Notice that. I don't know why they're very big, aren't they? Not just the height, they're just very wide, aren't they? Yeah. Very wide. Plenty of room in them, isn't the there? The engines are like really big, aren't they? If you want to sit down, plenty of room to spread out. I know. Yeah. <laughs> 